Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much, have a great day. Mike here from Tradewinds RV Center. We're gonna do a walk around on your Jayco Hummingbird 17 RV. This is solar prep, so you have a plug in here for a solar on a side go power portable solar panel to plug in there and charge up that 12 volt battery. We've got a brand new battery box and battery installed. The 20 pound propane tank has been filled. You got a little sleeve there for your seven way connector to sit in. This is an FIC 3500 power tongue jack with a docking light and a manual crank. You can remove the seal here to manually operate it if you lose power. You have stabilizer jacks on each corner of the unit. This is a six gallon water heater. This has gas and electric operations. Here's your city water connection, your VIN tag and tire information. Here's your fresh water tank fill with your low point drain directly underneath. For the fresh water tank, there's your true low point drains for your hot and cold water lines. Here's your furnace exhaust. This is your Swintec slide out. This has an aluminum gear rack. This does not get lubricated, but what you can lubricate is these wiper seals here. Pick up in our parts room a rubber seal conditioner and it adds a UV protection to the seal. You want to do the sides and the top. While we're talking about seals and protecting, you might as well look into the paint and fabric protection for the unit with your fiberglass unit here. You want to make sure you keep that nice gel coat on there. Talk, ask them about their five-year protection plan and you can also bring up the extended warranty that we offer that's an additional five years as well make sure you check in your bearings every 10,000 miles or yearly this is a tank flush so this is for the black and gray tanks here so basically what it is is the sprayer system that's hooked to the inside of the tank it will rinse off the tank walls and the sensors but what you need to do is hook up and then open your valves dump the tanks properly, leave the valves open, and then you can hook up to the sprayer here. Activate it, and just leave those valves open so it can immediately evacuate anything that's stuck inside the tank. And this also has the easy lube inserts if you remove the Jayco cap from the wheel to grease the wheel bearings. This is a 30 amp service unit here. You got an outside rinse station, cable satellite inlet there. This is pre-wired for a Furion backup camera. You got your spare tire mounted. You have a quick connect here for a low pressure gas grill. Little storage compartment here. It's got a light inside. You got a 12 volt power awning. Outdoor speakers. This has a transferable TV bracket from the inside to the outside. 110 receptacles and a cable outlet. There's a little bit more storage here in the front. It's got your jack cranks and your convenience package. And we're going to head inside. Alrighty, now that we're inside, you have your fire extinguisher located by the door. You got your converter with your 110 and 12 volt fuses. Here's your monitor panel. This has your slide control, awning control, living room lights, awning LED strip, water heater on electric and gas, your water pump control and your battery and tank levels here. You just push the buttons down and gives you a reading up here. You got a little table there that slides out. Here's your furnace control. So you click this top tab to the left here and then there's a little temperature gauge on the bottom there. This has a suburban two burner stove top. It's got a little charge port area here in the back. You just click down and pull up on. It's got two USBs and two 110 receptacles. You got a little light under here. You got a convection microwave, being that this unit does not have an oven. Here is your refrigerator. This has an auto 
mode here. So when you put it in auto mode, it's going to automatically determine where to draw power from. So we're plugged into 110. It's going to automatically default to that 110. If I were to unplug the unit right now, being in auto mode, it would switch to 12 volt battery and propane gas as a combination to keep this refrigerator cooling. In here, you have to lift the bed up. You can wedge it between the two here. Hold the bed up and remove your access panel to your water pump and water heater. So you can see how those valves are in line. That allows the tank to fill. So if you want to bypass those the opposite way for winterizing, and then you have your water pump built in here with a winterizing kit installed. So the way that that valve's pointing now allows you to draw from the fresh water tank. If you want to winterize, you take this black valve, point it towards this line here, activate the pump, and you'll be able to draw suction from this tube to winterize your unit, unit here. You got also a little 12 volt plug-in, 110 receptacle there. You got your TV mounted. This has a CD, DVD, and Bluetooth. Take a look at the restroom. Center flush for the toilet. It's a dual foam shower liner. It also has a built-in fan. You got a red switch here to turn the fan on. And then to lift it up, you actually just push up on it and that opens the vent. Pull it down to latch. GFCI receptacle here in the bathroom, so if you trip or receptacle you can reset it here Got a light switch here on the wall and that about does it thanks for watching